12 would be the typical number of 80 degree days we would have had in a normal year by this date. We've had three <laughs> so far. So yes, the 90 degree and near 100 degree heat in this weekend forecast will probably come as a little bit of a shock to the system for a lot of us. So just you know, be aware of that. It's gonna get hot pretty quickly. By the way, uh, here are some 90 degree stats for you. Let's take the graphic here. The average first 90 degree temperature at PDX over the last, well, since records have been kept there since 1940, June 19th, the earliest 90, April 30th, the latest, October 5th, there was in fact one year where Portland did not hit 90 degrees, 1954. I can tell you that we are about to hit three 90 degree days in a row. So it's just a brief history over the last decade of where we stand. The 30 year average for 90 degree heat in Portland is 15 days. So that means we typically see about 15 uh, 90 degree days in any one given summer. Well, that would be the average. You can see that over the last decade, we have gone all over the place. The benchmark uh, 2018, I've got the asterisk next to that, 31 90 degree days. That was the, uh, if, if that is your barometer for hot summers, uh, 31 is the record in 2018. Okay, with all that said, it's not that hot out there just yet. In fact, it's a very nice morning. It's quite comfortable. It's 58 at PDX, it's 55 in Scappoos, 52 Hillsboro. Big picture across the state, Baker City waking up to 40, Pendleton 54. The heat begins this afternoon. A heat advisory is in effect for all of Western Oregon and Washington uh, for this weekend. And in fact, in the Willamette Valley, the heat advisory continues through 10 p.m. Monday because we will probably not see significant relief in Portland until Monday night. So three days of 90 degree heat in our forecast. Futurecast has us high and dry all day, all weekend really. And I put the wind arrows on here uh, because that just indicates that the east wind is really going to start to pick up today. That's a, a downslope wind off the Cascades. That is a warming wind that will help in uh, accentuate the warm up today. And Futurecast here shows that with the north and northeast wind picking up on the order of about 30 miles an hour or so in Portland today. The beach, not escaping the heat. We're talking 80 plus degree heat in Astoria and Pacific City today and probably tomorrow as well. Uh, East Gorge will be pretty warm. West Gorge, uh, well, you know, getting into the 90s, pretty close to it. Cascade Locks and Hood River. Central Oregon, after a cool start, you will warm up to near 90 today. The warmest days for Central and Eastern Oregon this weekend uh, actually will occur on Monday. That'll be your peak heat. Uh, but for folks west of the Cascades, our heat will peak out tomorrow. Here's a look at Futurecast today, lower 90s. And then as we roll the clock into tomorrow afternoon, we're talking near 100 degrees. So I've got us at 92 today, 99 tomorrow, which by the way, that is not a record. Do you know what the record for tomorrow is, Tim? Quick, quick question for you. What's tomorrow's record? I'm, I'm going to say it's high. I because, push you on the spot. Yeah, I'm sorry. heat wave. 100. And, <laughs> what was it? 107 or something. You're exactly right. Oh. Yes, the the high, the record high for tomorrow is 108. We did that okay. last year at this time, followed up by 112 and 116. Yep. So we're not looking at that kind I of heat. Remember it well. And in fact, a nice cooling trend as we go into the rest of next week. Good. That is good news. And um, it's nice to see the kind of cooler overnights too. Uh, especially, I've, all the windows are open, yeah. you know, right now to cool it off for the day. Yeah, for sure. It's quite nice out there right now. It is. Hey, Chris, thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you again soon.